Welcome to our introduction to using Remote Web Workplace in Small Business Server 2011. My name is Brian Schrift and I'll be walking you through this crash course. First off, I should probably explain a little bit about what Remote Web Workplace is. Remote Web Workplace is a portal allowing you to connect to your office from a remote location. This could be from home, a hotel, internet cafe, and pretty much anywhere else you have an internet connection and a computer. The main areas we're going to cover are accessing your email, accessing files on the server, getting to shortcuts quickly, and finally, accessing your computer as if you were sitting right in front of it. We'll start by opening up Internet Explorer and heading to your remote web workplace website address. Typically, you'll find Internet Explorer on your desktop. Go ahead and give it a double click, open or on up, and you'll want to enter your address for Remote Web Workplace. I'll be entering in the address to get to our server, and you'll want to enter the address to get to your server. Uh, this would typically be given to you by uh, someone from your IT staff uh, along those lines, and uh, if you don't uh, have one, uh, just ask or give us a call. So this is what the login page to Remote Web Workplace looks like. Uh, you'll just want to use your same username and password that you do to get into your computer at the office. So go ahead and enter in your username and your password and uh, hit enter or click the little blue uh, arrow to log in. So this is what Remote Web Workplace looks like. Uh, we'll just start ahead at the top there. Uh, across the top we have our main area. So we have the home page, which is what we're looking at now. We have email. We have shared folders, which is uh, data on your server. Uh, we have computers. And then to the right, uh, we have information for your user account. So. Uh, Basically, there's our sign out, and we can click on our name and change our password, uh, things like that. Uh, then on the main screen, you'll see check email, a link to do that. Uh, you'll see a list of computers here. This is for remote desktop or remote access. Uh, I actually have all the computers in our office because I'm a server administrator. Uh, typically, you would only see your computer there or maybe a, a handful of computers that you typically access. Uh, then we have our shared folders to the right, and these are all the different uh, storage areas on your server. Uh, and then uh, back circling around to the left, we have basically favorites. So there are some organization links, and there's a little bit of training here on using remote web workplace and accessing your uh, Outlook. And then there's some administration links, which are basically like company-wide links. We have one out there to our management system and to QuickBooks and to one of our monitoring websites. So uh, this is kind of like your portal to get into the office from, uh, from outside of it. So we will start with checking email. Uh, so go ahead, take your mouse, and go ahead and click on the check email icon. Now your Outlook Web Access will open in a new window. Uh, now this is Small Business Server 2011. Uh, it just came out in February of... Uh, of 2011, and it is running Microsoft Exchange 2010, which is your email server, basically. Uh, with that latest version of Exchange also comes a nice and pretty updated web access. Uh, they're they're kind of getting the web to the point where your uh, Outlook software is. Uh, it's very, very user-friendly, very, very full-featured. Uh, a lot of our clients are going from 2003 to 2010, uh, so over that, over that seven years, there is quite uh, a number of improvements. Uh, you can drag and drop, you can create new folders, it's it's just a whole different experience, night and day from, from uh, this older version to the new. Uh, we even have some clients that just use this as opposed to uh, the, the software version of Microsoft Outlook. Uh, so you'll take a look here. You, you just take a look at the at the, the interface itself. We have all of our folders on the left hand side, just like you uh, normally would. We have our mail, our calendar, our contacts, tasks, all that information. We have our public folders. Uh, 
So there's even that out here. Uh, so go ahead and just click around on a couple things and uh, get familiar. I went ahead and clicked on our uh, public folders and it shows up here our company vacation calendar. Uh, so this is just an example. I'm not going to click through all these, but you can uh, go ahead and click through uh, some of the items on uh, your Outlook web access and uh, familiarize yourself with uh, what things look like, where things are, things like that. All right, I'm going to click on the mail button to go ahead and get my uh, my main email uh, back and displayed on our screen. Now we're just going to go ahead and uh, pretend to write a, actually we won't pretend, we'll send an email. Uh, instead of clicking new, which will just by default pop up a new email message, I will click the little drop down arrow next to new to see what our new options are. So here you see that we can do a new message or a new meeting request. So we can actually schedule a meeting through the the web uh, the web interface. So uh, for this one, we'll just click on uh, new message. I'm just going to go ahead and blow this window up a bit by uh, maximizing it. So you see now the full new email message options that are up. Uh, across the top, of course, we have our send. We can save this as a draft. We have attachments. We have uh, insert photos. Use the address book, uh, spell check, high priority, low priority, uh, all kinds of uh, different options here in this uh, in this very very uh, rich and useful interface. Uh, so right now we'll just go ahead and we'll use our address book to uh, compose an email. So after clicking two, you'll see the default global address list come up. Uh, we have our contacts, we have suggested contacts, we have uh, all the contacts we would have normally in uh, Outlook available to us here in our address book. Uh, we can just double click them, we can uh, select them and click the, the CC or the BCC for the blind carbon copy. Uh, so you can just go to town in here uh, selecting as many people as you would just uh, if you were at the office. So we selected Brent. Uh, right at the end of this slide you'll see for a quick moment uh, that it is going to show actually his availability on the right hand side. Uh, it's, it's, it only recorded for a, for a split second but what that actually does is for scheduling of appointments it'll show free busy information basically uh, when they have calendar appointments when they're busy uh, and when they're free. Uh, so that'll help you in scheduling any appointments, again, through the web interface. So uh, we have Brent Davison in R2. Uh, we don't have any in this, anyone in the CC. We'll throw in test as a subject, test in the body. Uh, in the body, you can see all the different fonts you have to play with, bold, italics, underline, bullets, numbers. Uh, indenting, colors, uh, the whole nine yards basically, so you can uh, really go to town uh, in editing your email through this interface if you wanted to. And we are all done. We're going to go up and uh, click send and uh, away the email will go. All right, now the next thing we're going to take a look at, just because this is kind of cool, uh, we're not going to go into much detail, uh, but take just a, a general look so you know it's there. Uh, we will check out options. Uh, so go ahead and click on options. And then you can also select a theme, uh, but right here you can set automatic re automatic replies. Basically, you're out of office. Uh, the, the quick tasks, change your password, uh, create an inbox rule. Uh, we're going to go down to see all options. All right, so on the main page here, we'll see all kinds of stuff. Uh, again, here are the shortcuts on the top right-hand side. Tell people you're on vacation. Uh, direct push on a mobile phone. This will help you with getting that iPhone, that Droid, that Blackberry synced up with your uh, email. Uh, some other different links. Again, change your password. Uh, on the left-hand side, we have our different options that are available through the web interface. Uh, so we can have uh, organized email, group settings, phone, block, and allow. So we'll just cruise on down through these. So here is organized email. Uh, so these are, are different rules that can be applied when email comes in. Uh, so if you want certain messages from some people going into different folders, things like that, you can set that up with rules. Uh, of course, our automatic replies being the out of offices and then some more advanced things like the delivery reports. Then we have groups. 
Uh, so these are all the different groups inside your organization. So in our company, uh, we have a couple main groups like the Evansburg office, uh, staff, technologists, the Johnstown office, all these all these different uh, groups inside so we can quickly send email to them. So uh, this basically shows you uh, what you've got. Now here we get into some more advanced things. Uh, this is probably going to be a lot more useful if you're going to be using your Outlook Web Access a good bit. You can set up uh, email signatures. You can turn on uh, spell checking and calendar options. All these different, uh, all these different options. If you are going to be living in your Outlook Web Access more than you would uh, your Outlook. Uh, if you're not going to be in it too much and mainly just checking email, uh, if you're on travel or or away for a while or, or randomly from home, I wouldn't worry about this too much. Maybe throw in a, a signature and I always turn on my spell check because uh, I'm an awful speller, but uh, again, maybe that's partially because I've grown up with spell check. Now under the phone, that's just kind of cool. Uh, I have an iPhone and an iPad both synced up with uh, the Exchange, and what this basically tells me is that uh, it last synced at 722 and 724, so uh, I know my devices are in, in sync. Uh, if something actually got stolen, I could go in and I could wipe my device, uh, so whoever stole it or if I lost it, uh, they wouldn't have access to any of the information on it. Uh, which is a nice, cool uh, security feature that uh, is out in the newer versions of uh, Exchange. And then lastly, we have our block or allow. Uh, this is uh, junk mail settings, basically. So if you want to block people or if some people got classified as junk uh, and was going into your junk email, uh, they would be on this list at all. So I have two uh, email addresses here that uh, accidentally got classified as junk in Outlook and... Uh, I whitelisted them or basically uh, added them as a safe sender. Now that's about it for our Outlook Web uh, Access Crash Course. Uh, like I said, go and play around with those different uh, components, uh, drag and drop, uh, have some fun. Uh, we're going to go ahead and close out of this now and uh, it'll basically be back at our remote web workplace screen. And then we will check out the different uh, other areas we have to work remotely.